Hello Ace, this is Ace Combat Fan here with another tutorial on how to perform the post stop maneuvers in Ace Combat 7. This time I'll be showing you guys how to perform one with a flight stick, because my other one was done with a controller, but many of you have requested, and here is how to perform with a flight stick. For my gear I'm using the Thrustmaster Hodas 4 flight stick, that's the one I use, and let me show you a quick overview, you know, we have the basics, you know, put the throttle forward, it goes at speed, Put it back to get less speed and then we have a neutral position right in the middle it's not really neutral like idle because you have like you get to your regular cruise speed but you have to know this position it's very important there's like you know a little click that you can hear like to get a clue on where on when you are in the middle of the axis that is very important let me also show you guys some of the buttons that we're gonna need to use here on the throttle we have a set of different buttons that you can use with your thumb, like right here. We have square, X, circle, and triangle. We'll be using the square button here. This is the one on top. Now, I don't know what this button is used for in regular gameplay. I don't I don't really know. I think it's it's not assigned, but it's very important for post on maneuvers. So, I recommend you guys, when, whenever trying to do this, pick a plane that is very good doing post maneuvers. In this case, I brought in the Sukhoi 30 SM. I think it's one of the best possible. That's the one that Mihai uses in the game. Uh, but you can also do, bring in you know, the F-22 Raptor, the F-35, F-18, and a bunch of other Russian planes. And for the Storo, I'm using the speed in kilometers per hour. This is just what I use, and that's how I'll be using You can change in the, me the menu. It's very important, post stop maneuvers, you need to be less than 500 kilometers in order to perform, perform them. So let me show you how it is done. You need to first, you need to identify again the middle portion of, of the axis. What are you gonna do? You're gonna slow down to less than 500 kilometers per hour. You're gonna put the throttle back to the middle position. You're gonna press and hold square. And at the same time, we're gonna pull back on the, on the throttle. So the nose goes up. Let me show you guys how it's done so you get a feel for it. Decrease the throttle under 500 kilometers, put it back, hold square, pull the push the throttle, and you might want to put you want to put you know the, the power forward after you get into the post on maneuver. So let's repeat to show you guys again. Less than 500 kilometers, push back, there you go, push throttle forward, and that's how you perform a culbit. The culbit done with a flight stick, it's pretty smooth. I would say it's even easier. To perform one of the flight stick compared, you know, with the regular controller, just on how you know the the buttons and, and the smoothness of it goes. Let me try to do once more to demonstrate to you guys. Push the throttle back. Let the speed decrease. You can you can decrease to whatever you want, but closer to 500 kilometers, it's a good mark because you have more energy in order to perform the post stop maneuvers. So, throttle. We're gonna put in the middle middle position. Hold square, push the push the stick uh, to the back, and that's how you get into the post on maneuver. If you don't push the throttle up after you start, this is what's gonna happen. You're just gonna enter into a stall. Well, I was coming too fast, I think. It's a level. There you go. Not moving from the middle, your airplane turns, enters into a stall. So you do want to add that speed after you get into the post on maneuver. You can also do the Cobra maneuver, which is a little bit hard to do. There's some more control involved. Let's slow down, push the throttle to normal position, pull back. There you go. It's kind of how you do it. The, the Cobra takes a little bit more practicing and more adjustments, you know, with the control. You need to get used to it. But the Cobra done with flight stick is really well. You can also put, you know, a roll as you do it. it you can get some interesting results. Let me show you a Cobra with a roll. So you guys have an idea what I'm talking about. There you go. Put it a roll. You can all. You can also, you know, if you want to s stop uh, the rotation, can just you can just do it to change your direction more effectively. There you go. That way we went kind of to the side when compared to the regular call, but where you just do a loop. But that is it. I hope this this, this video tutorial has kind of helped you guys to know. How to perform the post the post down over with a flight stick. This case is the Hodas 4 from Trustmaster. Let me just repeat the process again. Find the middle position on your stick. Reduce the speed under 500 km per hour. Push the stick back to the normal position. 
hold the square button right here on the throttle and the Thrustmaster flight stick. And at the same time as you hold the, the button, push the nose up. There you go. That's how easy it is with the flight stick. I'd say it, it, it goes smoother than using the controls. It can really perform a really clean cold bit. Like It's pretty much a perfect maneuver as long as you add in that power after you start the post maneuver. But that is it. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Let me know if you guys, you know, if this tutorial worked. Uh, like, share, comment. That helps out a lot. If you're interested in a flight stick or in some gaming gear, check out my friends at Trustmaster. Links in the description. That helps the channel. And you know, it's the more immersive feel to Ace Combat and you can form some very clean Colbits, just like this one. Boy, I just failed right in the end. There you go. So be sure to add in the power. That's going to be very important. That is it. Hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.